Hello friends, I hope that you are well. Today I have an updated what's in my travel day bag video for you. But this isn't just a bag that I take traveling and I use in the daytime and my flight carry on. This is something that I literally use every single day of my life, even when I'm at home. I go into London a lot, do lots of freelance video producing. It's an everyday travel bag uh, with all of my tech gear. And it's essential that I have something practical and good quality because this is something that I'm using every day. Now for the the past year I have been using this bag from Coolatron, which I actually got on Amazon, and it has served me really, really well. It's separated into two compartments, so it has a laptop sleeve, it has a whole bottom compartment for, which specifically holds cameras and lenses, um, but there's also a little bit of extra room as well, and it's been really, really good. Um, but it has worn a lot. The handle that holds it up, like when you're just holding it, that's broken off. You can just see there's just a lot of wear and tear on the bottom. And I just thought it was time for a new bag, especially since I'm going away for seven months. I'm just not so sure that this one's gonna last me that time. So I'm saying farewell and I have a new backpack Never used this before, but it's something that's been popping up on my Instagram all the time, like sponsored posts, and I was like, okay, I cave in. It's the Bobby Anti-Theft Backpack. I don't know if any of you have heard of it or have seen it. It's not the prettiest backpack in the world, but it arrived the other day, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you around it, and I'm definitely gonna give it a go um, for my travels, and we'll let you know how it goes. So let me show you around. This is what it looks like. This is the front, and this is the back. Whoa. Well, now you can see the inside as well. So what is quite cool about it is that you can zip it open the entire way so you can look at the entire contents of the bag. On this side, the side that's closest to your back, you've got the laptop sleeve and then there's another little sleeve in here. There are two velcro bits on the side so that you can keep the bag from completely falling apart. Um, and then on this side we've got a couple of padded sections on the bottom. We have a padded top sleeve up here and a little zip. As well as that, we've got a zip on the inside here. And what that connects to is on the outside, a little charging port. So you can stick your portable charger inside your bag and it means that you can charge your phone or whatever needs charging at the time, normally it is your phone. And you can use that on the outside, but your phone and the portable charger is still charging on the inside, which is quite a cool feature, but we'll test that out in a little bit. And as well as that, what else do we have? Oh yes, one tiny little zip on the strap there. You could probably fit like one card in there, I guess, but it's really small. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna use that. But that is an overview of the bag. It's very, very lightweight, which I like. Seems to have a fair bit of padding. Um, it's all written, this is the first time I've like opened this bag, right? And there's a fair bit of fraying, which I'm not overly impressed with. But I hope it holds itself together. It doesn't seem like it's gonna break. I bought it for about 30 pounds, and it said that I was getting this big deal uh, with like 20 pounds off, that it's supposed to be 50 pounds, and it was like, you must like, I'm counting down the time, you must get it within the next two hours. But then after I bought it, and then I looked like a week later, they still had this timer going down, where it's like, you must get it for 30 quid. So it seems like it's, it's going for about 30 quid, but it makes you wanna buy it because it tells you that the sale's gonna run out shortly. Anyway, let me show you what I'm gonna be packing inside of here and how I'm going to be packing it. So the first item I'm gonna show you, I'm very, very excited about, it's brand new um, to me, and it is the Skyroam Solace. So these guys sent this to me, and it's something that I've been wanting for a long time because it is like a portable Wi-Fi router. As a digital nomad, someone who kind of needs to be connected the whole time, but also a traveler, this is essential and amazing. So you can purchase the data in two different types of ways, either daily and then for that whole day you get an unlimited amount of data or you can just purchase it by the gigabyte and then you know use it up as you want um, and you only turn it on when you want so I'm going to be using this as kind of emergency situations when I've got no Wi-Fi but I really need to upload something those situations have come up a lot and in the past it's just been a massive struggle like I've just been trying to travel somewhere in order to get Wi-Fi or just paying an extortionate amount so so I am so stoked to have this 
also stoked to have it because it doubles up as a portable charger, which is absolutely perfect. I think that's absolutely essential for anyone that's traveling. I personally think it's so important that you always have a charged up phone, mainly for your safety, if nothing else, just so you can always let people know where you are, so you can find out where you're going, where you are yourself, if you need to make any last minute bookings. It's just really important that your main electricals are charged up for you to use. So yes, this doubles up as a portable charger. Mixing it up with this bag. Now I'm gonna put this in the top compartment here. I was gonna pop it in this side compartment here because that's very close to directly making it come out of this port here. However, in order for it to actually charge my items, I need to turn it on. And if I were to have to get it out of this side pocket down here, you have to completely open up the bag. So I thought I'm gonna put it in the top here. I'll plug it in to show you how it works. You've got to turn it on in order for it to charge things. So I'm just going to turn it on here. The fact that it's in the top, it just means that even when my backpack's all the way closed, I only need to open it a little bit to turn it on. The wire then loops through into the side thing and then out the side here. This should work, but we're going to do a live example. Um, I'm going to plug this in like this. So imagine that this is on my back and let's see if it works, if it charges my new phone. Yeah, okay, I, you can't see this, but yes, that's charging my phone straight away, which is awesome. So literally just need to open it at the top plug it in and that is good to go. I do apologize if the audio is all over the place a bit at the moment. I had to unplug my microphone in order to show you that that was gonna work. Well, I'm glad that it does work. So my phone charger, and this also doubles up as the charger for the Skyroam Solace, uh, is gonna go in this top section here. As well as that, I'm also gonna put my GoPro charger because that is another thing that I would use the portable charger to charge. So I guess this top section is just just a bit of an electrical section. Now, also in this section here, I'm going to be putting my Lumix GH5. That is the camera that I am filming on right now, which is not very useful, but I'll show you a bit of B-roll of what that's going to be looking like. I'll film it on a different camera. The really annoying thing is about that is it doesn't fit into these pockets here. Maybe if you have a slightly smaller D DSLR, it might fit, but um, yeah, that's a bit frustrating, but it sits on the top, but everything's fairly padded, so I'm hoping it's not gonna be a big issue. But that's not to say that I won't use these. So this one on the right-hand side, I'm going to be putting my external hard drive. I carry a current one, but also a backup one. You'll be very proud of me. I'm finally carrying around a backup hard drive, so hopefully no Sri Lanka lost footage situations going on. I'm <laughs> moving up in the world of technology. And in this left-hand compartment, I. I'm going to be putting my Canon G7X. I still do use my Canon G7X. It's a fantastic vlogging camera. If you're just getting into vlogging or need a compact camera that you want to document your travels with, I highly recommend the G7X. And even though I've got my Lumix GH5, I still use this just for handheld stuff. It's so much easier. If I don't want to bring my bulky camera out, then this one is a really good one to have. I also carry around my GoPro, which is on this little tripod mount. Very, very nifty. The the thing is, I only use my GoPro, I say only, I do use it a lot, for underwater stuff, super action-y things, but for everyday use, I use it for time lapses, um, which is why I keep it on this tripod map, because it means if I'm filming with my other cameras and stuff, and I just wanna get a tripod in the background, I can just literally whack it out, turn it on, set it up, and that's good to go for a time lapse. So I'm just gonna keep that slotted in the side there, and the other mount which I carry around in this bag, or will be carrying around in this bag, is just the floaty handle wrist strap, because it's another just everyday mount for the GoPro. And all my other mounts I'll be keeping in my big rucksack, but stay tuned for that video, because it's being filmed very shortly. Of course, on this other hand side is the laptop sleeve, so, oh, it fits mine very, very nicely. I reckon you could probably could get a slight bigger laptop in here. Mine is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, yeah, it fits beautifully. I think if you have a bigger laptop than that, it might be a bit more of a squeeze. And then this second pocket here is supposed to be for an iPad or a tablet, though it is quite small, but I put my notepad in there. I always carry a notepad with me. I've got a sparkly one this time. I get through quite a lot of notepads throughout the year. So that's what that slide looks like. It's very slick, it's very easy 
easy to access your things and I also like that even when it's closed up you can get those out quite easily. As well as that the only other charger I carry in my bag is my laptop charger which is just gonna have to be hanging loose on the side here. And the last few things that I will be carrying in this bag as everyday stuff, obviously I'm gonna be adding extra things in day to day depending on what I need, is this little bag which I may have shown before. It carries basically all of my SD cards, my adapters for like micro SDs and stuff. I've also got uh, like a spare GoPro battery in here. Just like the little things that you don't wanna lose. I just keep that all in this little zip up bag which I think I got from Primark a couple of years ago. And I'm gonna put this in. Uh, Move the bag around in this side pocket, which I told you I kind of wanted to put my portable charger in there, but I'm not because it's not as accessible. But I don't need this super accessible. So this is going to go in this side pocket in here. It is small, but we make it work. And the last thing I'm putting in here is my new business cards. I've got a little um, box for them. I'm just proud of my business cards, all right? And I'll be happy to like give them out if anyone wants to know about backpacking bananas. I'm proud, okay? And I'm gonna stick that in the side pocket as well because they don't need to be super, super accessible. Then that can mostly be zipped up as long as you've got it a tiny bit open to have the wire come through to your portable charger. And that is it. Obviously, I will have my DSLR in here as well, which I will have shown you. So I guess I just stick it on top of each other like this and then zip it on up. Now the zip is on the side closest to your back, which is quite unusual. And that's a big feature as to why it's anti-theft, because people can't access it. Like if you're wearing it on your back, a thief can't come along and try and open it because it's just not gonna be accessible for them, which is quite cool. I really like that. It is quite a thin zip, which concerns me slightly in terms of is it gonna be long lasting and if I'm being a bit rough with it sometimes, is it gonna be okay? But that's something that we will find out. This is what it looks like when it's zipped up. Um, and like I said, there's Velcro bits on the sides so that you can open it like this and you just access what you need. I'm really excited to start using it, but on first impressions, I'm fairly impressed. I like the fact that it fits everything in. Um, it doesn't come with a waterproof rain cover, but it seems Seems, you hear that? It seems like it's a pretty water resistant material in the first place. Obviously I won't be dunking it in water or anything. And actually it's not as ugly as I thought it was gonna be. I know that sounds a bit harsh. It's not the prettiest of backpacks, um, but when I wear it on, and it did come in a bunch of different colors actually. I could have got it in like light blue or light pink, but I just thought the gray is kind of good. It goes with everything. This is what it looks like on. I feel like the weight is being distributed really easily on my back. It feels like comfy to wear and it feels really lightweight. I have actually tried it on with the DSLR on as well and it feels a lot lighter than the bag I've been using for the past year, which is amazing. And I'm not, I'm not too sure if that's how it's distributed or whether the bag itself is just a lot lighter. I'm gonna be wearing it on my front a lot of the time. So this is what it looks like on the front. And that's obviously because when I've got my big rucksack on my back, this is gonna be on the front. So this is what it looks like. Hello, everybody. That is all my tech. I think it's so important to carry your most valuable items on you in your carry-on backpack. You do not wanna be sticking your most valuable items in the checked-in luggage of the plane because they might lose it. I have had my luggage lost, completely lost before, and if I had had any of my valuables in there, yeah, I wouldn't be happy. There we go, my day backpack. Now some of you, some um, very observant people might have realized that I've missed out some quite essential things out of this backpack, and that is because for the past year, as well as carrying around my backpack, I've also had a much smaller bag which has much more accessible things because sometimes you've got like your laptop and stuff on your back, but you have some stuff like your phone, your purse, your Oyster card, which you want to be able to access without having to take your bag off your back and all of this. So for the past year, as well as my backpack, I've been traveling with just this little bag from Fiorelli. It's an over the shoulder bag. It's also really good. Like if you're just going on a night out and you don't want to bring this and you want to put this in the locker in the hostel, just just having another bag which just has your absolute essentials in there. Now, I have been debating for this trip whether I wanted to bring this bag 
or whether I wanted to bring a fanny pack, a bum bag. Because I've spoken about in the past how I'm not the biggest fan of bum bags, but I got one recently which I actually really like and it's one that Google gave to me. And I think it's really, really cute and so I actually, banana first, so I'm gonna be traveling with this bum bag as well as this bag. Now this will have my absolute essentials in it. It looks like this, it needs a lot of tightening right now and, I, and you can fix up these straps. But generally, I quite like the look of this. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is quite nice. It's just black, it will go with everything. It has a, a gold G on it for Google. And I just think it's really fancy. So I'll show you what exactly it is that I keep in this bag. In the main zipped up section, we have got my phone, um, I have a new phone. If you haven't been watching my Insta stories, you won't know this. It's the Google Pixel 3 XL, so the brand new Google Pixel phone. Yes, I have moved away from iPhone and iOS. I have switched to Android. This is something I never really thought I would do, but Google approached me and asked if they could gift me with one, and I just said, you know what? My iPhones have been absolutely rubbish for me over the past few years. They've been so slow. I've had so many problems with them. Yeah, I'm gonna try a new phone. Thank you very much, Google. And honestly, I'm loving it. It is different getting used to an Android as opposed to an iOS. I think some of the features are not quite as easy to use, but for the most part, it is fantastic. The screen is so big, so clear. The camera on this thing is absolutely insane. And also, I use a lot of Google things online like Google Drive. My email is a Gmail. I use Google Maps all the time. And all of these softwares are optimized for the Google phone. They're so easy to use. So I'm stoked about that. And there's a lot of other cool features that I like about it. But anyway, my phone, it's an essential thing when you're traveling and just for everyday use. That's gonna be going on the, in this big section here. As well as that, we've got my purse. This is also new to me. Um, I literally just carry around this thing. Um, it's called the Ridge. and it's it's like this card holder. Um, so all of my bank cards and a couple of my loyalty cards are in there because I find myself very rarely using cash these days, even when I'm abroad. So that goes in the main section. If I do have cash, there is a little inside pocket in here which I will put it in. And as well as that, in the main section, I will be putting any keys or key cards that I'm using at the time, as well as my sunnies. On the right hand side is my headphones pocket. So I have different headphones for my phone and for my laptop. I keep my laptop ones in this nifty little case. I don't know why. And then finally, in the other side, I keep my microphone. Um, some of you may know I use a lapel microphone. I've got it right here. Um, but that goes in this little pocket here. And as well as that, I've got my drugs. So generally, I just keep day nurse, ibuprofen, hay fever tablets, handy and accessible, as well as a couple of tampons and some blister plasters. You know, just emergency stuff when, if you're caught off guard with anything, it's just there, it's ready to go. So yeah, a little bit apprehensive, but very excited to be starting to use a bum bag for this trip. But you know, if I go on a night out or anything, it's nice to know that I'm just completely hands-free. And I genuinely like the look of this. I think it looks kind of trendy. Um, so that, along with this, looks like, looks like this quite nice quite nice I have realized that if I do wear the bag on the front then this bag has to come around to the side which is okay it's still you know I can access things right here right now and what is good is that despite the fact I've got all of my essentials in here for every day there is still some room left if I do need to put any other day-to-day -day things in here there's definitely room for that and if I'm on any really strict airlines where they're like you're only allowed one piece of carry-on luggage and they don't let me take this and this good thing is is that this can literally just slot into this bag and then I literally just have my one piece of carry-on luggage this is what's coming with me on the plane every time I go into London now and pretty much every single time I just go out the house this is gonna be my bag and you know thieves they can't get in they can't get in which is great and it's supposed to be like um, slash proof as well like if someone were to get a knife and just try and open it that way 
it's supposed to be fine for that. I'm not gonna test it because if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have a broken backpack and I don't want that. Oh, and one more thing. I literally just saw it here and was like, oh, I forgot about you. My passport, of course. This is gonna be in my bum bag for when I'm actually getting on flights and whatnot. But for general day to day, this is I think gonna stay in my main bag because this bag, if I'm going out in the day, like whilst I'm backpacking, this is what I'm gonna be packing in my locker at the hostel. So I will have a padlock that's able to lock up the lockers and my passport is just gonna be going in that top section there so I don't bring it around on day to day. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it's been useful for you. I'll definitely be giving you an update once I start traveling with this bag. Just to let you know how it's going, I'll let you know if it breaks. As I said, like it's come up all the time on my Instagram, like a sponsored post, like they've just been willing me so hard to buy it and yeah, I did cave in. So I am really intrigued to see how it will go. In the next two weeks, I will be showing you what I will be packing in my big rucksack, which is obviously what is going to be accompanying this bag for my big backpacking trip, which I am so excited about. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.